Hi everyone, it's Erin from the Provincial Farmhouse. Thank you for joining me. Today we're going to give a vintage suitcase a Christmas makeover. We're using Iron Orchid Designs Christmas Valley Transfer and the letterpress stamp and also recycled neutral ticking decoupage paper. You can find a full product list in the description of this video and all your IOD and Dixie Bell needs on our website, theprovincialfarmhouse.com.au. This suitcase was a thrift shop find and as you can see it is looking a little worse for wear, a little bit tired and I thought it would be perfect to give a Christmas makeover to. After cleaning my suitcase, I'm coming in with two coats of Dixie Belle's Endless Shore Silk Mineral Paint. This paint has a built-in stain blocker and also a built-in top coat. I thought that the stain blocker would be perfect for an old suitcase like this, just in case there was some stains that maybe I couldn't tell were there. But the color is also perfect for going underneath decoupage paper. I'm applying this paint over the entire suitcase, over the hardware, over everything because honestly it's a bit rusted and a little bit worse for wear so the paint's only going to make it better. If you're going to do this project at home, you don't have to put it over everything, I just did for this project. On the base of the suitcase, you can see here that there were a few tears so I'm using Gorilla Super Glue to get the material to stick back down. Next, I'm measuring up my recycled neutral ticking decoupage paper. I'm just going to use my fingernail to very carefully mark out where I want to cut it. I'm just going to have a strip on the top for this project and I'm using scissors to trim it. Next, I'm marking out where the paper has to go around the little lock attachments. I'm using my fingernail to crease and then scissors to cut out the shape and just being very careful not to overcut. I'm using Dixie Belle Satin Clear Coat to decoupage with today, so I'm very carefully working in sections, applying the Satin Clear Coat and then gently pushing the paper down. I'm using a little balled up bit of cling wrap to smooth it so that my nails don't rip the paper and I'm working in sections. I'm putting down strips of the Satin Clear Coat and then smoothing it out. Now I am going to get wrinkles just because of the shape here, but I'm not too worried. This is a vintage suitcase, so I imagine that it'll look a little bit like like sort of cracks in old leather perhaps, but also we're going to be putting transfers over the top so it's not really something you're going to notice. If you want a perfect finish, you could perhaps try doing the iron-on method, but I'm happy with the wet method today. Here you can see I've got a little bit of overlap with my paper, but I'm gonna go in after it's dry and cut that off. I'm then coming in with another coat of Dixie Belle's Satin Clear Coat to seal the paper down. Now that the paper's dry, I'm very carefully using a little sharp knife to cut and tear the paper off. Next, we're using IOD's Christmas Valley Transfer. There is eight pages of beautiful Christmas designs in this booklet. It's been very popular, sold out in a lot of places. But if you have this transfer, hopefully this is giving you some ideas. So I am just flicking through and working out what I'm going to use. I'm going to be using this little wreath here. You can see I've already had lots of fun. I've been doing lots of cutting out. I'm also going to be cutting out this cute little red house. And I'm just positioning it, seeing how I want it to lay. And then I'm I'm going to position my wreath down first and I'm just very carefully burnishing the design down, carefully lift, lifting the plastic up as I go and working my way around. If there's any bits that I miss, I just carefully put that plastic back down and start rubbing again. Before 
before we do any more transfers, I'm using IOD's letterpress stamps. Now, when you first get these, you wanna give them a light sanding so that they'll take the ink and the paint well. I am going to be using the verse, I'll be home for Christmas on my suitcase. I thought that was very cute. So here I'm just plotting out the letters, seeing what kind of space I'm going to need and how I'm going to position it here. You can see I'm just sort of playing, working it out. I decided to just work with one word at a time. I'm applying Dixie Belle's Anchor Silk Mineral Paint with a brayer and very carefully pressing my stamps down. You can use a thin mount to organize your letters. I'm just using the other side of the stamp plastic to do this. And again, just very carefully lining up my letters and pressing down. Here, some of the paint didn't transfer, so I just added a bit more to the letter and individually carefully pressed them down. When applying your stamps, you wanna make sure you have one hand holding the stamp at all times while the other adds pressure in different areas so it doesn't slip. Next, I'm adding this cute little house to the center of my wreath, again, being very careful to burnish all areas down. I decided to add a few more elements to my suitcase, so I'm cutting out these cute little bits of holly and I'm also going to add the little deer in the corner there. And I'm just putting the deer down first so that I can layer the holly over the top. And I'm going to have to bend the holly around the suitcase, but the IOD transfers are awesome. There's no issue with doing this. Next, I'm adding a sweet little bird in the corner. And again, I'm going to put the bird down first, burnish that down and then layer the holly over the top. I'm also adding a couple of other little berries here and there. Now that I have all my transfers down, I'm going in with Dixie Belle Satin Clear Coat again to seal everything. Now for the final touch, a buffalo check ribbon on top, and I'll also be adding a little bit of greenery as well. And here's the finished suitcase. I hope that you guys like this project. I really like the layering of the decoupage paper and the transfers over the top and the stamps. I think this would look lovely in someone's entryway decorated for Christmas. Let me know what you think of this project in the comments. Hit that like button if you like it. If you're not already, I'd love it if you could hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of our projects. Make sure you check out our other videos in our Christmas playlist and you can find all your IOD and Dixie Bell products on our website, theprovincialfarmhouse.com.au. Thanks for watching.